Hello, I'm going to talk about my course called Blogging for Beginners, which I'm, I'm currently running at the University of the Third Age. I have divided this course in three sections. Session one is Blogging for Fun, Funds and Fee. Session two is Exploring Content. Session three is Growing Your Audience Through Social Media. The word blogs comes from web logs and people have many reasons for blogging. Um, it could be a personal reason, like documenting your life, uh, providing your opinion or commentary on news or what's happening in your country. You could be expressing emotions or you could have a business reason. You may want to talk about your product, your services. You may want to start some DIY publishing. Blogging for fun, it does what it says on the tin. You have, you have a blog where you talk about fun things, uh, where you may be talking about fashion, like the modest man. The modest man is a short man, so he's talking about the challenges for men um, who are not all and like to be fashionable. Unlike our girls, they cannot wear heels. So what are you know the best clothes, the best suits, the best casual wear for the short man? It could be something fun like um, the lipstick queen and she talks about fashion and makeup. Or you may want to review books or or other things you enjoy or talk about a hobby, testing products, and you may want to monetize it with advertising. Other fun blogs, the Cupcake blog and Deliciously Ella, which was so successful she got a, a book deal. Another blog that got a book deal is, and this is the book, Escape from Cubicle Nation. So it's a blog, a business blog about uh, entrepreneurship. Other fun blogs could be cooking or humor, like Rules from Mayan Bonson, the book came out of a blog. Um, and blogging is for any age. As you can see here, we got like a link to a saga article about over 50 bloggers. Before you start, you may want to do some competitor research. So places like Cision, Technorati, or blogging collective like Brit Mums, Mums Nest and Grants Net. They will allow you to find other bloggers, see what they're doing. Uh, maybe you can learn from their journey. Um, don't let you, don't let Brit, a name like Brit Mums or Mums Nest fool you. They, they, they are dads as well participating. Or you may want to have a blog for um, raising funds. And, and that is what I do um, for a community garden. I have a blog. Uh, where we show the progress that the community garden is doing and it's very useful when you are raising funds from the council or other uh, grant giving organizations and you're showing how the money is spent but it's also a way to keep in touch with uh, help uh, past and present because Cambridge is a very transient place. Um, so if you want to, to know more about how to do this you can, sorry I went too fast, you can uh, Find out this um, LinkedIn group from the Easter fundraising and you get some advice there. Another um, good and, and another good thing you know you can do is to um, search uh, other charity blogs through Wayo, which is another um, aggregator um, ranking blogs. And uh, you and this is the blog the MP Common Community Garden blog I was mentioning. And above is the blog of our partner organization. You might want to make some money from the blogs. Don't believe what they say that you can become a millionaire. You need um, to work very hard to, to make a lot of money. And in the blogs I've selected as an example, we have one, an American one, that makes $70,000 a month in advertising and it focuses on car advice. Then we have this website looking blog um, from an older blogger and she focuses on debt, on personal debt and I assume she 
may have like speaking engagement she may have advertising as a revenue she may advise people and then we have the blog of a youtuber um so the blog is a way where she can publish some photo and write some words but she has books she and you know she has a youtube channel uh, to drive engagement and that's and that's it for the session one